Here at the University of Florida, I function in several different roles. I'm a clinician who sees patients on a regular basis, but I also do research into some of these diseases to try to figure out a way to prevent or reverse some of the changes that occur in patients with heart disease. One of the most devastating diseases that we see in veterinary cardiology is something called dilated cardiomyopathy in Doberman pinchers. I've been looking at this disease for probably the last decade and trying to find ways to either reverse the poor heart function or prevent poor heart function from occurring. Dilated cardiomyopathy is a disease that we see very frequently in the Doberman Pinscher and it's a disease that causes the heart to not function or squeeze as it should. These dogs have one of two outcomes. They either go into congestive heart failure or they have a sudden death episode. A normal heart has the ability to squeeze and generate a lot of pressure. A, an abnormal or diseased heart can't squeeze as well and this is why patients develop symptoms of heart failure or poor cardiac output. One of the questions that we have is whether or not the heart can repair itself. Is it able to undergo a reparative process if we give it the right environmental conditions? So some of the things that we've been looking at, in particular with this disease in Doberman pinchers, is stem cell therapy, so delivering stem cells to the heart in order to allow it to repair itself. We've also looked at gene therapy in this disease as we've identified a gene that is mutated in the Doberman pinscher, and we're hoping that by one of these combinations of either stem cell therapy or gene therapy or a combination of both together, we can get the heart to repair itself. We've looked at a number of different cells that we can give to the heart to allow it to repair itself. And we've also recently identified a mutation in a gene that we believe is the causative agent of this disease in Dobermans. By finding a prevention and possibly a treatment for dogs with dilated cardiomyopathy, here at the University of Florida, we're hopeful that we can provide a better future and brighter outcome for dog owners and breeders of the Doberman Pinscher.